good editing platform. We always come across iMovie because it's a really easy app to use. But the most annoying thing is it has boring titles. Titles like these are just so boring and no one really wants to use them. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own with Fonto. So just open up a new project in iMovie. Make it whatever you want. Make sure the Ken's burn effect is enabled. Um, go to Fonto. Select plain images and custom the dimensions to 1280 by 720 these are the youtube sizes and press color and either choose a blue or a green because they're both classified as green screens or blue screens i just showed blue just to show you guys that it works just the same just the same as the green screen so i just press use and i'm pressing um text and adding the text that i want and i am making it as like make me it the way I want it because that's how I want my thing to be. So just pressing save image and go back to iMovie, press the plus button and just wait for it to update. Press the three buttons, blue screen, green screen. And as you can see, it's already fitted. It's like already done. And the green screen effect is enabled and you can actually use it now. And it's the font that you want. And I'm just going to resize it, so I'm going to add another one in just to show you guys. I was just playing around with some effects and this menu came up. So you can actually change your green screen, blue screen to a cutaway, picture in picture or split screen. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this picture in picture effect in my next video as long as the cutaway and the split screen. So I was, I was just playing around with some effects and I didn't know what I was just standing here for, but um... Just a side note that all these videos are going to be in a playlist. You can actually binge watch these if you want. So I just went to Fonto and I made a new project again, making it green, just to show you guys you can do this with the green one as well. I just did again 1280 by 720. Make sure not 750 because that's just not going to turn out right. And I just use use and I added a, another text. And I just made it editing cleaner one. I did the exact same thing, just with a different font. And all these fonts are actually available in the description. So you can actually download all of these. And I actually made a video on this, so you can actually get them. And I just saved this image. And went back to iMovie and I imported that image. So I just wait for it to refresh a bit. And I pressed the three dots. Blue screen, green screen, and it added right next to it. It doesn't do any um, overlay on top of that one because I may be iPhone slash iPad to put one layer thing. But it's such a smooth transition, trust me. And I was just play, playing around with it just to cut the sizes a bit. And when you add these things, you don't need a transition. It just does it for you. It's like really good. I was so surprised at how smooth it turned out. I didn't really think this, but yeah it's absolutely amazing i really like it. i wish i did this sooner for my aesthetic uh, wallpapers with the um trendy fonts one as well but um yeah so i'm going to be showing you guys the final result with how this turned out